This video will show you the construction of the motor pod for the Stratus Gale boost glider. Um, this is where I made significant changes to the glider design from the Cirrus Breeze. Um, I decided to laser cut all these parts um, so that it would go together faster and be more accurate. Um, and you might be interested in seeing how these are laser cut. Um, so I'm going to put in a little video right here showing you exactly what happens when these are cut. Now, the back edge, you see this uh, squirrely looking thing. I did that purely for decoration. Um, I saw the back edge of the engine nacelle on a Boeing 787 aircraft, and it had that scalloped look to it. Um, the reason that they do it is for um, noise reduction on takeoff and landing. Uh, as the air comes around the side of the nacelle, it mixes better with the exhaust coming out of the jet engine. Um, so that's the reason I've been told that they do it. Um, I just think it looks cool, so I did it here since I was going to laser cut anyway. Um, the tube coupler is also laser cut, as you saw in the video. Um, and you'll notice it, um, that one side of the coupler is wider than the other, or skinnier than the other. This one's wide, this one's skinnier. This goes towards the front end. And you can kind of figure this out, how they're going to go together, just like that. Um, so we're going to take some glue, and I'm going to use wood glue for this because I need it to slide around. And I'm going to spread it around inside of the tube. And I wish I would have brought a dowel with me, but I didn't. So I'm going to have to use my finger. 
spread it around on the inside. It's going to it's going to get on the outside. Don't worry about that. We'll wipe it off later. Um, and I want to take more glue and put it on the outside of the coupler. Okay, and I want to wipe off my hands before I do this. All right, and so this is the skinny end, so that goes towards the front. And we're going to slide it into the rocket tube, just like that. And we're looking at the edge, making sure that it aligns. And you can use your finger to kind of align it. And all this glue that oozes out on the front edge, we want to wipe that off. We don't want any glue on the red coupler. This is actually the shoulder for the nose cone. And, and if you got any glue that's inside of the tube, um, take a dowel, I'm going to just use my, the back end of my X-Acto knife, and run it around the perimeter and take off any glue that oozes out. Um, that coupler acts as the engine block, so we don't want any glue oozing out or their engine will stick out further in the back. Um, and then on the front end, as I said, it's going to be the coupler for the nose cone. Now we're not going to glue that on yet. We're going to glue that on after we trim the glider because we may need to add nose weight to get a nice gentle glide. Now there is a um, engine block, well this is a, a bulkhead, um, that's going to be glued into the front of the coupler. And so I'm going to put, first I want to get it to go in, so there's usually a burr on the inside of the tubes. Just knock that off with your fingernail so that that will slide in. And the nice thing is I can pop it out easy. So and I push it in so that it's even with the front edge of the cutout here. Just like that. And then I'm just going to smear the glue around on the inside and that acts as a fillet, makes it nice and strong. And then I want to put a fillet on this end, just on the inside, and smear it around, make sure that's nicely in there. Again, make sure that there's no glue on the outside of the coupler, on the red part. So now we're just going to let this dry, and I'll come back and we'll put it onto the rocket.